back in um, the 1970s or so, about 40 years ago, um, Dr. John Crook, who was a westernized spiritual teacher, he was a, a tantric master, uh, yogi, many other things. Um, a man who dedicated his life to a spiritual endeavor in all kinds of ways, uh, presented me with the koan existence is only now, tell me what it is. And this, it seemed to me, was very wonderful and it was um, It was a practice that informed and opened doors in the inner realms for me as I uh, embraced it, worked with it, this tailor-made uh, inquiry. Existence is only now, tell me what it is, he said. and. In contemplation this morning, it occurred to me that wonderful though these practices are, koans, breathing, awareness practices, um, movements, not to mention kriyas and strange uh, states of consciousness that occur for us in meditation and spiritual practice and inquiry, that ultimately they are all objects of fascination, of course. They're all um, sweets, really. Things that in our spiritual childhood and adolescence we're drawn to. We're drawn to the mala or we're drawn to the uh, book by the bed or you know, the poster or the icon or the statue and, and all of this. And we may even, as in my case and many of my generation, be drawn to the continent or the physical location of so-called enlightenment, believing in a fact that it is somehow other drawn to, to the guru or to the spiritual personality as being someone else, some personality exterior to our, our self. But perhaps more interestingly and more profoundly and deeply in spiritual practice and discipline comes a time when the trinkets fall away. It's curious, I, I wouldn't put myself and didn't put myself for some years now in a position where I would be the recipient of spiritual objects of fascination like existence is only now, tell, tell me what it is. It, it's done its job, it's it's been enough, it was appropriate for the time. I entered some years ago a place where there was no need anymore for amulets, for fetishes, for objects, material or otherwise. It's an interesting um, it's a further deepening in the spiritual mind of the human being to let go of things, even spiritual things, and move into a period of practice where attachments uh, become more refined, more subtle, less of a hindrance, but of course in another way 
in need of great discernment because they're far less obvious. So consider for yourself uh, your attachment to objects, inner, outer objects, substantial, insubstantial, spiritual representations of truth. And bear in mind that it's, this isn't a movement into a rejection or a any negativity or pushing away or aversion towards any of these things. It's rather more a, just a falling away, really. Just a kind of disinterest, really. Neither interested that they're there, present or not. It's about a relationship that you have with all external arising adaptive forms all of which of course are maya, are reflections of the divine presence but we can be with these things without attachment without attraction or aversion and without feeling in any way that such fetishes are a substitute for reality.